With a multi-line string, what we're going to say is that the string we match has new line characters in it. And we want to be able to affect what the placeholders are. So multi-line string changes the meaning of caret and, and dollar sign to being not beginning of your input and end of input, be, but being begin and end of line. Um, so these are of line uh, when you put the M modifier in. Uh, whereas normally the caret and the dollar mean begin and end of the the input. And so this is useful if you know you're going to be searching for, for multiple lines and you want to make sure something begins at the beginning of a line in the middle of, of your input or ending at the end of a line but maybe not the, the last line of your input. If you turn this modifier on you still may need to be able to reference the beginning, the absolute beginning of the string and the absolute ending of the string. And for that case, uh, you can use backslash A and backslash Z. And the, that will always mean, whether or not you have the M on or, or not, the beginning uh, or end of input. So that's what the, the M does. Oftentimes, when you do the S, the M modifier, you also do the S modifier because what the S modifier means that the the dot uh, matches your new line character, which it normally doesn't do, and that makes sense if you want to, the the dot to go pass more than one line of input. And so that is, uh, you oftentimes see M and S together as modifiers. You, you don't always, but it doesn't make sense to have the, the S without the M because the only new line character you're going to see is at the end of the input. Um, so, so these oftentimes come together. And so then that leaves our X modifier. And uh, I want to use a, a new page for that because it is so important and so useful. Um, I'm actually going to start a, a new video for it.